Huntsville wakes up to Brian and Tracy. Oh, mud bugs for breakfast. Mm, boy. <laughs> there no. are some people that, that have that, yeah, though, yeah. right? You could take the, you could get With... the, you can get them, and um, if you get the tails only, uh -huh. sometimes you can get them without the shells. Uh -huh. And then you could thaw it out, and you can put it with some scrambled eggs, I guess. Yeah, or you with grits or something? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, grits is good. I, I, like, I like how many grits. See, grits Miss Judy's eyes are rolling. I can hear it from here. <laughs> She's like, no. no. No to the crawfish. No to the grits. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Anyways, hey, the uh, annual Forest Masonic Lodge, downtown Huntsville on uh, 12th Street, their annual Chili and Gumbo Scholarship Fundraiser is coming up this Friday. So there's your lunch plans between 11 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. this Friday. Get on down there and get yourself a bowl of chili or a bowl of gumbo to help raise funds for their scholarship program. And, of course, all this week you've got a chance to win a pair of tickets to that lunch. All you have to do is text your name and the keyword gumbo to our KSAM text line, 936-295-4102, and you'll be in the drawing for a pair of tickets. So we'll get on over there and do that. We have more information about this, by the way, over on our community events page at KSAM. 1017.com. Log on and go check out our hometown happenings. Old Dominion and Megan Maroney can't break up now on 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman. Your Southeast Texas weather forecast is on the way. Also, got some more coming up here in just a little bit from Carrie Underwood and Thomas Rett. So stay tuned for that. According to a new report by the Pew Research Center, 38% of teenagers acknowledge that they spend too much time on their phones, and 27% admit they spend too much time on social media. Teen girls are more likely to admit they're spending too much time on those things than teen boys. 39% of teens say they've cut back on social media, although they didn't ask how many of those cuts have stuck. A whopping 95% of American teens say they have access to a smartphone, and in a separate study, about 33% of teens say they use at least one of the five major social media platforms. YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook saying they use them almost constantly. Oh, then it's not just the teenagers. It's the young adults, too, like myself. I'm on my phone way too much. I need to just put it down, go for a walk, hang out with friends, and more important things than being on the phone. But hey, I use it for work as well. So, it, 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 it cancels out somewhere. Pam Tillis, don't tell me what to do. Part of 90s at noon on 101.7 KSAM. Coming right up is your Southeast Texas weather forecast. Also got Eddie Rabbit and Brooks and Dunn around the corner as well. All right, time for a food story in your lunch hour. Now, when you're considering ordering soup at a restaurant, you probably aren't worried about the price because, well, it's, it's soup. That isn't always the case, though. A restaurant in Chicago is selling a soup for a whopping $1,893. That's right. It's being served for a limited time at the Colonial Room within a hotel called the Drake Oak Brook. They have a signature dish called Book Binder Soup, which is $10. And this is a luxurious upgrade, which is which is made with super rare Louis XIII Cognac instead of regular dry sherry. You can also get a little snifter of the spirit, too. It also features Ocetra caviar and red snapper from the Gulf of Mexico, which is flown in fresh for every order. You need to order it two weeks in advance, so it can't just be an impulse buy. It's also garnished with gold flakes. The specific 1893 price comes from the date of the original recipe for the soup, which was created by Samuel Bookbinder in 1893 in Philadelphia. So why isn't it in Philadelphia? That just makes more sense. Why do I have to go to Chicago to buy nearly $2,000 soup? Connor Smith at Creek Will Rise on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Good evening, I'm Big Glenn Edwards. Your forecast is coming right up. Hey, I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but according to a new report by the Pew Research Center, 38% of teenagers acknowledge that they spend too much time on their phones. Oh my gosh, hold the presses. 27% uh, admit that they spend too much time on social media as well. Apparently, teen girls are more likely to admit that they're spending too much time on those things than teen boys. 39% uh, of teens say they've also cut back on social media, but they don't really um, say what those cutbacks were. Yeah, a whopping 95% of American teens say they have access to a smartphone. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and in a separate study, about 33% of teens say they use at least one of five major social media platforms. YouTube, TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, good thing, bad thing. Uh, you know, I, I mean, I can go either way on this, but uh, it is what it is. You know, the, uh, uh, the, the uh, 
Horses are already out of the barn, right? Tyler Hubbard here on 101.7 KSAM. All right, folks, it's time for everybody's favorite segment, your favorite, my favorite. Say it with me, folks. It's your five random facts for the weekend. Let's start at number one. We started the last one at five, so let's start this one at one. Number one, according to a study published this week in the American Journal of Public Health, an estimated 42% of adults in the United States know at least one person who has died of a drug overdose. That's roughly 125 million people. Wow. Number two, someone who's six foot seven can see about 1,000 feet farther than someone who's five foot seven. I mean, that makes sense. It's like going up in a skyscraper. You're going to see a lot more at the top of the building than you will at the bottom of the building. So, yeah, that makes sense. Number three, the actor who has played the most interesting man in the world in the Dos Equis commercial through 2016 was once an extra on Star Trek. He was a crew member in a red shirt, and those guys were basically always got killed, but he somehow always survived. So, there you go. Number four, Delaware is split up into only three counties, which is the fewest of any state, which is interesting when you think about it, because that means a state that's smaller than that in Rhode Island has more counties than the state of Delaware. I don't know anymore, folks. I don't know. And number five, Steve Larson has just found a publisher for the book, The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. And it's two sequels when he died. So, expect some books. There you go. So, there's your five random facts for the weekend as we take it back to the music. So you don't have to hear me ramble on anymore. <laughs> back to the top 10. From number 11 to sneak in to the top 10 at number 9. It's Thomas Rhett and Morgan Wallen with Mama's House. <laughs> 